about it uh, is someone that I met some years back uh, as we were involved uh, in a different organization looking for artists. This student of his said, well, you need to really talk to Gilbert. Chatting with him and ultimately coming uh, to this place uh, that they call the Academy. I want to thank um, foremost all my sculptors who are uh, why uh, this show is what it is. One of the other things that I'm trying to present here is an integration of the arts, uh, the large scale outdoor sculpture, which I think has the most awe, uh, power, and factor of all of the arts. Uh, the large outdoor sculptures, but I'm trying to integrate it, of course, for example, with the UTSA Symphony Quartet and with the dancers that you have seen. Sculpture is still in progress. It's not finished yet, but it started out at about 5,000 pounds of limestone. And uh, Linda gave me, saw some of my work in my studio, and gave me the opportunity to sculpt whatever I would like to sculpt for her husband. And so um, this sculpture will represent uh, symbolically uh, a lot of meaning for a lot of widows. But on the pedestal, I will present a plaque portrait of Officer Edwin Burrell at the bottom. But for right now, I'd like to show you where I'm at, and I'm going to ask Linda to please um, unveil it for you. Generally, it's a lady in the Greek uh, classical style of antiquity with all of the beautiful uh, drapery uh, and, and robbery that they wore in that day. She's holding a dove by her heart and she's holding a letter in her lap. The entitlement of the sculpture is called The Widow's Letter. Just sitting here with such an amazing woman. Mrs. Burrell, first of all, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for just taking the time. You know, I know it's very, um, it's kind of very heartwarming, but then it brings back a lot of memories. Uh, but there is a very special reason why we're here this evening. And, and I'm going to say it is in your honor, in your husband's honor. Um, Officer Burrell, if you would just share with us a little bit about about your husband, you know, I, I, who was did so much for the community. He um, he protected our community, but yet but he tried to get a lot of the kids off the streets downtown. You know, he was working downtown foot patrol when it came into existence, and his main concern was there were so many children, you know, walking the streets at night, and he would take them one by one and try to get them jobs or just get them off the streets and get them, you know, stable. And they came to the hospital. When my husband was shot, they came to the hospital, you know, and sat with me, you know, brought him little presents and stuff, you know, we'd mm -hmm. have them all around the bed. And it affected them so much. Share with us the unveiling of the sculpture. Well, when I got here, uh, Gilbert asked me if, if I would do that, and I, I, it'd be an honor to do it. And I've been so tense all evening, couldn't eat or anything, because I didn't know 
exactly how she looked because I've always seen her from a distance, you know, from the front gates. And I've seen her on the, the web, but when I unveiled it, all the emotions came out because of what she symbolizes to me and to a lot of widows. You know, when the other widows get to see her, I'm sure that they'll, they'll connect with her, you know, in, in their own way. We're all one big family here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're all one big family here. And again, you know, words can't even express. You'll remember this day the next time we had another police officer fall in the line of duty. Because I'd hate to say it's never going to happen again, but we know it will. It will, it will happen again. And I'll be there for her too.